Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for May 7th of 2024 is titled Black Hole Accreting with Jet. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an artist's conception of what may have happened in 2014, or at least been seen to occur here on Earth in 2014. At that point, we noted a very powerful explosion by an automated telescope, which actually was searching for supernovae. Now, when we noticed it, of course, astronomers followed it up and looked with other telescopes to try to understand what the what this was. Now, in some things we can't actually see directly, but what we can do is take models of various different events and see what uh, what fits with the observations that are seen. So we see the observations, that's the data that are recorded. And then we can then model things and see what fits and what works for that. And what was found to work the best was a star being torn apart by a supermassive black hole. What do we mean by a supermassive black hole? These are exactly what it says, a very massive black hole. These are the kind of things that exist at the center of about every single galaxy in the universe. And they can be a million or a couple million times the mass of the sun or billions of times the mass of the sun or even more. So that's what we mean by supermassive. A stellar black hole would be something that might be 20, 30 or 40 times the mass of the sun. So something that's a little smaller. But the process is still the same. Now as we take a look at the illustration here down at the very center, at the center of all that swirling, you see a black dot. That would be the black hole itself and its event horizon. The event horizon is the point at which we can no longer know anything about the black hole. Nothing can escape from inside the event horizon. So we cannot see anything from there. You would in order to escape from inside that level, you would need to travel faster than the speed of light, which as far as we know is impossible. However, as material gets close to that black hole, and in this case, a star, that star could be ripped apart. Now, in general, the star doesn't just flow right into the black hole. Typically, the star was orbiting and would be get closer and closer and then would be torn apart by tidal forces and shredded into a disk of material around the black hole. As it moves in closer toward the event horizon, it gets heated to higher and higher temperatures. And that's where we're getting that burst of energy, this new source of material, this star that's being ripped apart is now giving excess energy. Now in many cases like this we also get jets of material coming out perpendicular to the axis of that disk. That jet of material is not coming from the black hole that is nothing getting out of the black hole that is from the accretion disk around it and that material then ends up coming out in jets and we can see a jet here coming up toward the upper left hand side and while we would not see it there would generally be a parallel jet going down to the lower right hand side. So the jets tend to come in pairs and would be perpendicular to the disk that we see. So here we get to see an illustration of what may have happened about a decade ago, where a supermassive black hole ripped apart a star giving off a big burst of energy that was then detected here on Earth. So that was our picture of the day for May 7th of 2024. It was titled Black Hole Accreting with Jet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.